Um, yeah, so I'm lucky I have an Android phone um, and I will start to download the app through which I then can apply for my settled status. So I'm going to try to install it on my Android. Download pending. No, sorry. <laughs> While I was waiting for the app to be uh, to install, there was a, a news feed on my phone saying that Theresa May says that the sixty-five pound uh, fee, which we would have to pay for settled status, is to be abolished. It's now installed on my phone, so that's good news. So I will open it now. This is really exciting. <laughs> yeah, EU exit ID document check. At the end of this week, I'm going to meet up with a group of friends and we're going to do it together. And the reason is that not everybody has an Android phone. And the official advice of the Home Office is to borrow a phone. But um, we have to put in quite a lot of uh, sensitive and personal information, passport details, address, everything, basically. So just to borrow a phone is a bit scary. I have a Brexit box. So in here I have everything which I hope I can use as evidence of my residency from hospital letters, from uh, boiler uh, maintenance contracts. All the leave, uh, vote leave uh, promises were that we can stay, nothing will change for us, we will be automatically granted uh, leave to remain. And of course this is not automatic, I have to apply, it will be checked and I can be refused. So a registration system instead of an application system would have been already great. So It won't scan my Norwegian passport despite numerous attempts. It keeps telling me it's not a passport. So the devil's always in the detail and we are only a few hours into the test phase of this program and we're already starting to see some problems. So people who have actually been here for six, seven, ten years and the system is not recognising their records. And so it's quite a simple fix, I guess. You just have to produce those records manually then. So print out your bank statements, find those documents. But there will be a lot of people who will find that quite difficult who might not have those documents themselves. The three and a half million people who need to have their claims processed, just a small failure rate could leave tens, hundreds of thousands of people without the immigration status they're going to need after Brexit. That means they might not be able to access services, they might not be able to access the NHS. You could end up with a Windrush style scandal on a much bigger scale. Do five to six, I could do five to six uh, as well. There's a whole range of groups who could be affected. People who don't hear about it, for starters. People who've already got permanent residency and so don't realise that it's for them. Uh, people who don't speak good English or don't have good IT skills. There will be more complicated cases who can't just deal with this quickly online. The Home Office has got to have the staff in place to be able to handle those, process them and do the job effectively.